Hello, and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I haven't done a video for a while, so, um, you know what that means. Uh, it means I've been busy. Um, isn't that what usually happens, right? Let the fish tanks go a little bit, and don't get to do the fun things I like doing it sometimes. Life work gets in the way. Um, anyway, this is uh, my community tank here. Um, I've been neglecting it a little bit. Um, and I uh, changed my filter today and had a little uh, dump accidentally occur and got a bunch of waste in, in the tank and now I'm cleaning it up. You can see my sponge filters are kind of dirty, but um, that's that's just from one day, and that's because of the spill I had. Anyway, um, so I've got a bunch of plants in here. I've got some crypts going here in the back, and in that little terracotta pot, and some of the usual suspects here. Java fern. And um, got my rose lines here. Just cruising along. And the last two survivors, my celestial pearl banios, I've had for a few years. Two left. Yep. Like, yeah, like three years old now. Hmm. Um, got my Bolivian rams. Got a miniature costume somewhere somewhere. It's about three, four years old. Never leaves that that piece of wood right there. Then I've got these golden algae eaters. I really like these. They're awesome. Most interesting fish I've I've had. I mean they're definitely up there. Very cool. Got four of them in here. Four or five. They love algae. And they do get the um, golden algae eaters do get a little territorial. Um, Especially this guy, he's the alpha. He's pretty big too. He's like like three inches, maybe four. And then I've got some really cool golden zebra loaches. Um, we've had this for a couple of years. They're about three, four inches. And I've got two a male and a female. Uh, Pistogramma cockatoidy triple flash or triple reds in here. There's a female, you can barely see her. Not very colorful. Another golden algae eater. Hanging away. There's the uh, female pista. A lot of activity in this tank. Very fun to watch actually. Yeah, interesting mix of fish. All seem to be working. I've got a ton of filtration in this tank. Two twin sponge filters here. One sponge filter there, and a third filter right here, so move C4.
And the reason the water is so full of particles is because of the spill I had today. So it'll probably take me about a week with my busy schedule. And I'll have to take these sponge filters out and clean them off under the faucet to get all that debris off. Um, the water's pretty clean though, otherwise, it's just damn particles. And also, um, the loaches are really they're, they're kind of crazy. And they, they take all this dirt on the bottom, which is part of what fell today out of the filter, and they just they kick it up. Constantly. And they, they're very um, feisty with each other. The zebra lunches. I was trying to determine who's the alpha. I like these loaches a lot. I think they're awesome. There they go. They don't like to go on out and have a full on brawl, but I mean, they do chase each other around quite a bit. And the uh, algae eaters and the loaches run into each other sometimes, but they don't, you know, push each other around. They only push themselves around. So it's usually loach on loach or golden uh, algae eater on golden algae eater. Um, they have a lot of intercoiling here. And this is a 55 gallon. Um, and it's got a ton of filtration, um, despite my spill today. So um, there's almost never any debris in this tank or on the ground. I mean, I, I clean the tank like usually every every two days because there's so many fish. But we like the way it looks, so yeah. And there's no substrate. It's just a different look, that's all. If I had more time, I'd put larger stones in here. Probably some black stones. Um, or like, yeah, some sort of pebbles large ones and more more pots oh there's the male pistogramma there he is Not the best looking specimen, but he's one of the uh, surviving members of a pair I had that bred. Not intentionally either. A lot of glare off that abalone shelf, if I can get a shot in on it. Yeah, it's too bright to see it, the details. Very cool looking. This golden algae eater scare really easily. Yeah, I'm surprised it's just hanging there. 
Uh, that's what they like to do. Like to hang, eat algae. Do an okay job. see the three of my golden algae eaters. Maybe one of them's dead. Very possible. If something dies in this tank, it's usually usually devoured in no time at all. Yeah, there's a golden algae eater missing in here. Hmm. But well, he could be hiding actually. Underneath something. Oh yeah, there he is. Alright, well thanks for tuning in everyone. And until next time, hope you enjoyed the footage. Clean my tank up. I know it's not looking great.